This security guard has been trapped in the cave for 72 hours, whereas the boy above pissed directly at the man. Even a man's painful pleas can't stop a boy from doing evil. The origin of the story is that the older brother forced the younger brother to steal money. After Palm succeeded, John was excited to see the money in the box. The two hurriedly evaluated. Unexpectedly I ran into the security guard at the corner. They just ran. Security is in hot pursuit. The security guard was about to catch Palm when he suddenly fell into a hole. Palm took a look and dared not stay and continued to run away. He met up with John and confronted him. Didn't you say there's no one around here? Why are there security guards? I also lost my gas mask. John ignored it. He grabbed Palm and went home. At dinner in the evening, Palm was about to ask how much money was stolen when John stopped him. John said Palm stole the money to raise medical bills for his mother. Mother with advanced lung cancer. A fatal illness left her unable to work. Father was also shot and killed a year ago. The family can only rely on government assistance. Mother's only hobby is watching TV. All the reports on the news made my mother lament about the bad world. John is counting the stolen money. His eyes became greedy. Facing Palm's concerns about security, he said he must never go back. If you save the security guard, it will be revealed that they stole the money. The next day Palm rides his bike into the woods. He carefully asked at the entrance of the cave. He wasn't sure if the man had escaped. The sudden answer surprised the boy. The man below has broken his ankle. The cave is five or six meters deep. He can't get up at all. The man asked for his name. In a panic he said his brother's name. The man wants him to call the police or call an adult to help. After getting the boy's answer, man is grateful. When Palm got home he explained the situation to John. He wants to help men come out. But John said that if he shouted loud enough someone would hear him. Palm has to retort again. But he was punched by John. And John warned him to stay out of his business. If he finds out who we are we're all dead. Palm is angry. He said if you don't help me save him. I'll be honest with the man in the hole. John suddenly pressed Palm against the wall. He said his mother needed the money for medical treatment. If you dare to say one more word I will kill you. But Palm still says we can't just sit back and watch. Then he threatened John with suing his parents. John can only compromise. The two came to the woods. Listen to the sounds coming from the hole. John was also scared. They slowly approached the hole. The man asked if he had called the police. Palm lied that they were on their way and held up the bucket. John grabbed it and threw it down. The suddenly falling bucket hit the man. Palm quickly apologized and asked John why he did it. John didn't say anything. He just urged the boy to leave quickly. At this moment the man hears the two talking. He asked if there was anyone else up there. Palm denied it. The man said I heard you talking to someone else. And then it hit him. You are the two. The man fell into the hole and the boy above urinated on him. Even if he begged in pain. The boy didn't stop either. It turned out that after the brother and brother stole the money. The security guards fell into the hole during the chase. In the conversation that followed the security also guessed their identities. John saw that the matter was exposed and went forward. The man expressed his attitude. He said he wouldn't tell. Just asked the boy to save himself. Despite his repeated promises, John doesn't believe it. John pulls Palm aside. He threatened his brother with 20 years in prison. The man in the cave keeps saying something. John keeps telling men to shut up. But the security guard still didn't stop. This finally angered John. Palm blocked but was pushed down. John just unbuckled his belt and started peeing. Despite the cries of men, Palm accuses him of madness. He'll hate us even more. But John ignored it. He told Palm that the guy down there had nothing to do with us. Don't meddle. Palm can only apologize to the hole and turn away. Palm came home and stared at the bread in the fridge in a daze. He thinks he should do something. He went back to greet the man tentatively and told the man that he had brought him food. The man in the cave is angry. I was urinated on my face by a child. Palm can only repeat the apology. Men become hungry when they see food. After Palm dropped the food, the man asked your brother while eating don't you know. Palm shook his head. Then he sat down and told the man that his brother didn't believe him. And the man here encourages Palm to rebel against his brother. During the chat they found common ground. Both are afraid of their brother. The security guard took the opportunity to pour out how miserable he was. He tried to win the boy's sympathy and asked for his help again. The security guard said if you don't want to call the police you can call someone for help or get a rope. But Palm refused and turned away. Before he left he told the man that he would bring him a blanket at night. It was already dark when I got home. John sat in the doorway smoking a cigarette and asked where he had been. The boy lied about catching the frog. John instantly saw through the lie. Then he continued to threaten if you were caught. It's too late. That money can help mother. You don't care about her at all. You are so selfish. The next day at dinner John actually offered to see the man together. Before we leave John breaks into the house that disinfects and sterilizes termites and pulls out a gas canister. Despite Palm's resistance, he ran straight to the woods with the gas canister. Palm can only run and shout and tell the man in the hole to be careful. John switched on the gas as he ran. Palm catches up with John and tackles it. Palm bites John's hand while tearing. John pinned him down. Then he picked up the jar and went to the hole. Look back. Thanks when it's done. And he threw it down. This security guard has been trapped in the cave for four days. The two brothers had no intention of helping him. My brother even threw the gas canister into the hole and smashed it on the man's head. The deadly poison gas made it impossible for men to breathe. He tried to shoot the can upwards again and again, but the hole was too high and fell down quickly. Every fall aggravates the man's injury. John pulls Palm back and Palm punches. John dealt a backhand and then strangled him in the neck. He warns that if you come to see him again, I'll throw you in too. Let you die inside. Palm can't breathe. He could only gnaw it. After being released, 
He collapsed weakly to the ground. The next day I faced my mother's questioning. Palm just perfunctory. John told him there was a party tonight. Don't forget to come. When he came here he was stopped by John's friend. After his friend forced him to smoke a cigarette. He said your brother paid for the party. He hurried upstairs to question John. But John immediately denied it. He finally angered John under his close questioning. Palm plans to leave after argument. John told everyone about the Palm burglary. Also robbed the elderly. The crowd sighed. Then they kicked him around like a ball. And Palm immediately said that John had killed someone. John looked serious. Facing the approaching of my brother. He turned and ran. Just when Palm felt safe. John grabbed his head with a plastic bag. John looks fierce. While others turn a blind eye. John failed to kill in the end. Palm can only run away. Returning home he sat with his mother searching for comfort. Suddenly a police warrant appeared on TV. Palm was shocked. This is the man who fell into the hole. He hurried back to the room. He couldn't believe it. The next morning, he came to the woods again. He stood for a long time without daring to speak. He looked in. That man is not dead yet. It turned out that the gas mask he lost saved the man. Palm said he knew his identity. The man thought about it and told him that he was also forced to do so. He didn't want to be like this either. The boy believed it. And he sat down with the men and started talking about John's atrocities. And my mother's cancer. The man asked Palm again if he can get a rope. He can climb up by himself. The boy thought for a while and agreed to him with a condition. After the man was rescued he went to his house to help repair his brother. The man expressed his will. He came home to find his brother abusing his mother. Brother stop it now. Then he told his mother. He stole the bread in the fridge. John calmed down. Facing such a cowardly duo. John mocked his mother and brother with disdain and then turned away. And Palm pulls the rope out of the garage. He looked warily around and then went to the woods. He tied a knot in a tree and threw the other end into the hole. As the rope tightens, the man climbed up. He breathed in his long lost freedom and sighed. Palm helps the man stand up, but the man said sorry and raised his gun. When the boy asked him, are you going to kill me? Then the man hands out the gun. The boy stepped back in fear. After struggling he took the gun, then start playing. At this time the older brother reported his younger brother to the police. He said that his brother stole a lot of money from the old man, so he went home with the police. On the other hand Palm brings a man to his house. The mother was shocked when she recognized the man. She quickly expressed that she could take whatever she wanted. Then please leave. Palm helps the man take the phone away. The mother was shocked to see this. And the boy says don't move. Otherwise he will really shoot. The man finishes changing clothes. Palm helped him find his father's car. At this point he wants the man to take him with him. You can go anywhere. And the man refused. The boy now threatened if you don't take me away. I'll tell the police everything I know. Now the man proposes to go for a ride together. And John also came here with the police. When they found each other. The man walks out of the car calmly. After John recognized the man he began to growl hysterically in the car, but he couldn't even open the police car door. The man greeted the police in a friendly manner. He suddenly pulled out his gun and knocked the police officer down. Then a standoff began with another policewoman. At this moment Palm rushed out and stood between the two. The man shot the policewoman in an instant and then rushed up. I'm not worth it. Promise. The policewoman finally compromises. The man told Palm if you weren't here, neither of them will survive. Then Palm takes the pistol handed by the man. The camera turns. At this point Palm threatens John with a gun and comes into the woods. The younger brother threatened the older brother with a gun and came to the woods. Brother begs brother. Under the threat of the two men John could only climb into the hole. He fell in and cursed Palm. The man smiled withdrew his gun and told the boy the bad news. You only have one place to go now. Looking at the dark hole, Palm starts begging for mercy. John is excited. The man was unmoved by Palm's pleas for mercy. After turning around, Facing the falling palm, John didn't think about brotherhood at all. Just punch it. He was still yelling until palm passed out. Slowly my brother woke up. He hugged palm tightly and called his name. At the same time, the man who ran away met the mother who was looking for him. Facing a woman with a shotgun. Man begging for mercy. The man looked at his own blood in disbelief and was about to get up. The weak woman fired a second shot. At this time the palm in the cave has also awakened. John hugs palm tightly. And the mother also found it through the cries of the two. The story ends here. Human nature is often like this. Other people's lives seem to be worthless in the face of self-interest. 